And here we are, Kenley Common, the scene of the Scrappy Doo. Perfect conditions. And check out the old windsock hanging about as erect as poorly after a couple of Smirnoff ices on a big night out. Absolutely perfect. Scan round the rest of the course, and here we have the worthy contenders. The boys that tonight are going to put their titles on the line, not that they've got any, and try and take the rusty Scrappy Doo Challenge title. Little warm up lap going on. A bit smoother with the old camera, I think, Rusty. Look at those legs powering along. Chatting away like a couple of old women. I think actually they might they might have gone for a tandem to try and get double power to try and beat the ginger rusty time. It's definitely a tandem. Oh no, it's not. That's a shame, then that means there's absolutely no hope for either of them. Paulie's looking a bit cocky, but it remains to be seen. Oh, he's crying already. Here they come, masters of the universe. I'm sure they'll blame something on the little yellow poles. Yes, what a sight to behold. Disgusting. Oh, a little sprint from Paulie. She wants to warm up. Physical fitness. 27th of August, 46 miles under my belt on Saturday. <laughs> no excuses whatsoever. Certainly has outpaced me. I'm now he's bit. on his own. Actually, the last time I spoke to Paulie at the end of the ride, he said, Russ, there's no way you'd have kept up. I'd have totally and utterly outpaced you. That is the size of those compared to last year. So yeah, let's see. Right, anyway. Let's see if these little legs can get anywhere near 4, 4.37. Prediction, Mr. Weimark? 5.15. Look at those little cars working, working away, like a little whippet. Not a bad pace, he's gone. 2 minutes 39, 2 minutes 40. By now his little legs will be burning. Hotter than hell. Let's see the pressure is really on him. if the man can live up to the word. I think he will be close to six minutes because it's a minute and a half from there and he's still 30 seconds away from it. Basically, his legs aren't even really going round. He is a broken man. He's absolutely it has to be his broken. age, though, doesn't it? Well, he's a year older, isn't he? He wasn't 30 last time, was he? Or was he? Uh, no, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Oh, that's it then, that's isn't it? it is. That's it. Okay. I, think, I think you can see a bit of his grey hair. Let's have a little look. It's showing his age. Any poorly grey hairs? Oh, there's definitely a few in yeah, there somewhere. Yeah, those crow's feet. Not, you don't get those on me. He's starting to try and get some pace. What's the time, Mr Fletcher? 4.45. Oh my god, the record's already gone. Oh, he's going to blame it on that. He did a little swerve just to try and make out. I'll announce also when he goes, he misses his record. So he will his, his record's at 5.02. He's not going to be that far off. Not a bad little time. Let me get into the actual stuff. He was so fast I almost missed him on the camera. Mr Fletcher, do we need to have a little time? That is Paulie's second best ever time. It must be good conditions. Do you reckon it was Paulie? 5.06. Well outside your personal best. Shouldn't have done that warm up lap. Oh dear. That's the end of Paulie. Excuses, before it was need to warm up. Oh hang on, Paulie's just been overtaken. Yep. <laughs> Do I need to fan across to you? Well, it starts with don't tell Russ, but. <laughs> but I've been up here training. No, we'll see at the end what what's that it, statement was. What's it to do with? <clears throat> oh, I got it, I got it already. But I might. Oh dear, Paulie's still suffering. See why we've only had that one to shit. worry is being beaten by Paulie. <clears throat> I'll tell you what though, the with Paulie's time... It, the fact, fact you're thinking it shows how good my time was. With Paulie's time like that, Fletch, you should be getting a new Scrappy Doo Challenge record. Whenever you're ready. Uh, we have a prediction, Mr Fletcher. Oh. Um, 31, peak physical fitness. 
Oh dear, we were talking about Paulie's crow's feet earlier on. <laughs> Jesus. Bad ankle. Mind you, this is only the second time you've done it since you were 30. Last time you lost by 35 seconds. So what are you going for, Fletch? Oh, he's been overtaken already. Look at that. Excellent, little man with a stick. So what's your time, Fletch? Um, five, oh, that's a bit conservative, isn't it? Oh dear, oh dear, he's screwed it. Oh dear. Look at those. Legs slightly bigger than Paulie's. Warning. Do not try and beat the Rusty. 3.43. And Mr Fletcher is well on the pace. <coughs> Scores under all Paulie, what's the time? 4.35. 435. Now this bit. He is pushing my time actually. This bit's quite quick. I reckon he's going to blame bike error. He won't get through the poles. He's got to blame bike error. 445. <coughs> oh, he's going to beat me. Out of the way, Paulie. I want to get the expression on his face. 455. Oh, 457. He knows the time anyway. He's got it Mr. Fletcher, a broken man. <coughs> That has got to hurt because I was killing in my lungs. <sighs> Name your time. Oh. Name your time, Mr. Fletcher. You disgrace to mankind. 454. 457, okay. <clears throat> That's rounding down. Oh dear. Another broken man. Oh, your lungs are going to hurt so much. In Lying there on the floor <coughs> while the kids cycle past laughing. Oh, oh dear. Not healthy. Mr. Fletcher, overtaken again. <laughs>